The case of Mumia Abu-Jamal, a Philadelphia journalist, convicted and sentenced to death in 1981 for the murder of police officer Daniel Faulkner, has been at the center of unprecedented public concern in the last few years. Many people believe that the trial which led to his conviction and death sentence was deeply unfair and that a new trial is needed to fairly assess Jamal's guilt or innocence. This call for a retrial has been the centerpiece of many marches and demonstrations in the United States and around the world. At the same time, the largest police organization in the country, the Fraternal Order of Police, has launched a vigorous campaign to have Mumia's conviction and death sentence carried out as quickly as possible. Until recently, the mainstream media has not paid much attention to this case. But in the last few years, a number of media outlets, such as Vanity Fair, Time Magazine, and ABC News has given it some attention. In this program, we're going to examine the way the mainstream media have chosen to tell the story of this controversial case. And we're going to ask important questions about the responsibility that journalists have when it comes to issues of life and death. The controversy surrounding the case is based on the events of December 9, 1981, when Mumia Abu-Jamal, a radio journalist well known to the police because of his sharp criticism of them in their dealing with the black community, was working as a cab driver. He was parked on the streets of Philadelphia in the early hours when Officer Faulkner pulled over a car driven by Jamal's brother, William Cook. There's widespread agreement that there was a physical altercation between the two, that Jamal ran toward them, and that he had with him a licensed 38 revolver. A number of shots were fired, at the end of which Jamal lay seriously injured with a chest wound, and Officer Faulkner was dead, shot twice in the back and the face. But after that, everything is disputed between the prosecution and defense in terms of who did the shooting and the surrounding circumstances. The issue is, what is the responsibility of the news media and journalists when it comes to controversial cases such as this? If you're going to cover something that's very controversial, that there's been a lot of debate about, and particularly in this case of Mumia Abu-Jamal, you're talking about a trial where you have very clearly two sides laid out, as it were, to a story. If you're going to go for that kind of story, then I think you have a special burden as a journalist to be fair-minded. In other words, to present what, how would a reasonable person come to accept this perspective. Because of the large audience that it commands, over nine million people a week, we are going to pay particular attention to the way that the ABC program 2020 covered this case. <laughs> 